Hello, this is Emily Parks, Success Strategist with Organize for Success, here to help you use Evernote to organize for your success. Today, we'll be talking about how to use Evernote as a money tracker. Just like how Evernote can search the contents of any photo that is clipped from the internet, a photo taken with your smartphone can be searched with all of its contents. For example, Evernote can search a receipt's content when you upload a photo of that receipt, including anything that you have handwritten on that receipt that might be needed by your accountant. For example, if you take a client or a colleague to lunch, your accountant will need to know the name of the individual for whom the receipt is applicable. If you write that person's name on the receipt, upload a photo of the receipt as a note in the appropriate money tracking notebook, you can email that receipt directly to your accountant or into your associated QuickBooks account. Pretty cool, huh? Let's get started. As you can see on the screen that we're looking at right now, on the left hand side you have an All Notebooks option at the top of the left hand column. If you hold down your control button while you click your mouse, it's just like right clicking and you will get the option for a new notebook. You can create a notebook for meals and make sure that it is synchronized before you click Create. You can create another new notebook for auto, which would include things like parking, gasoline, maintenance repairs, mileage, things like that. Additional options may include postage or continuing education. So let's create one of those right now. Then, to combine like with like so that all of our money related notebooks are together, we would drag one of them by clicking on it and holding that down until we get to another one, and then they're combined together into a notebook stack. So by dragging and dropping, we have auto, meals, and postage all combined in together. But notebook stack doesn't necessarily tell me much of what those notebooks represent. So if I right click on notebook stack or hold down the control button while I hit the mouse, I've got rename stack and I can change this to money tracking. which would then enable me to know where all of my money related notebooks are located. In order to add content to these, there are typically two ways I recommend to clients to pull information in. One would be to log on to your banking account or your credit card account and clip the content from that website into this notebook. The alternative would be to take a photo of the related receipt and upload that information into here. So for example, I'll show you a screenshot of what the related information is. If you use an iPhone, you would open up your Evernote account in your iPhone Step one within your iPhone would be to click the plus sign, which is to create a new note. Once you've clicked on the plus sign, you'll move from that top screen image to the second screen image showing right now. In that screen image, you have the options of a snapshot, camera roll, or audio. The snapshot would be where you use your iPhone camera to take a picture 
of whatever receipt that you are looking to add to your Evernote account. Once you have clicked the snapshot button, it will automatically ask you if you want to pull from an existing photo or take a new photo and you'll be led through the steps of taking that new photo. Then, as you see last but not least, if you click on the italic I to adjust the notebook name, and if you're pulling this from the internet, you can change the source URL, or if you have a related website related to the restaurant that you were at, or whatever may be related to the business that provided you with that receipt, you can include that in the source URL. When you click the Save button in your iPhone version of Evernote, it will automatically add that into whatever notebook you indicated when you clicked on the italics I. So for example, if I'm adding in a gas receipt, I would take a photo of the gas receipt and change the notebook name to auto in order to add that into the auto notebook under money tracking. To share a particular receipt that you have added with someone, whether it be your money manager, the person that handles your QuickBooks account for you, or your accountant, you could go up to the arrow in the top right hand corner of the note in question, click on that arrow and select the most closely related option. So typically that would be email note. Once you click on that, you could input the email address for whoever needs to receive the receipt. I typically will click this box beside CC me on this message so that I know it's gone through and it is readable. And then you would click on send to make sure that this goes to the recipient. Since I don't have a recipient, I will discard this particular message, but this shows you the steps to take to either upload that money related receipt or share that money related receipt with whoever is handling your numbers. Again, this is Emily Parks, success strategist with Organize for Success and I can be reached at the contact information on your screen right now or stay tuned for additional videos about how to utilize Evernote to organize for success. Thanks and have a great day!